I'm here at Walmart looking for the new Chaos box that was shown to me on Discord. So if you guys are not in my Discord, go check out the link down below. It's free to join and uh, you can help me out find some cool stuff. I'm gonna go see if there's a new Chaos box inside here. It looks pretty exciting and we're gonna open it up in today's video. Assuming they have one, hopefully they do and I don't have to go anywhere else, but I might have to. Let's go. Three cubes, interesting. Is that all we got? Wait over here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's what we're looking for. Let's go. It's a bunch of them. No one's bought any. I'm gonna buy a couple, I think. Let's see what other packs they got while we're here. They, they, they've stocked up. Look at all this stuff. I haven't seen this much stuff here in a while. Here are the new blisters, by the way. If you guys didn't see this, we have Pokemon blisters now. Wild Survivors is Pokemon style. Gotta be sad, I'm gonna miss this style blister, but man, there's a ton of stuff here. Crazy. Oh wow, shiny fates. Dang, I might buy some Pokemon while I'm here. Prism? 2021? Why are these here? I'm gonna buy, buy some basketball too. I feel like they went in the back room and just pulled everything out. That was easy, three boxes. They had like six of them, they had so much stuff in there. That's pretty awesome to see on like a random middle of the week. I thought it would be cleared out. So now we can go open a couple of these. We're gonna be giving away one of these boxes in this video. So just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below what you think about the box. Hopefully they're pretty awesome. I like the green on them, not gonna lie. So let's see if they're pretty cool inside. All right guys, we're back from Walmart. We got our three chaos mystery boxes. We're gonna be opening two of them and one will be given away to you guys. So you guys know what to do about that. Let's get into the opening. See if these chaos boxes are worth the price. All right, so we're gonna open up the two most beat up ones. Uh, they are a $20 cost at retail, like plus tax and everything. So we're just gonna do no tax, so 20. So we're gonna have a negative 40 start and see if we can make $40 back. Of course, on a mystery box, that's gonna be really, really hard opening the packs, but that's why we're here and that's why we're trying. Okay. Let's start off with this Chaos Mystery Box. Let's just check it out for a second. So first of all, five booster packs, one gaming sleeve pack, whatever that means, gaming sleeve pack. Does that just mean sleeves? I guess that's what that means. You have Yugi, you have Dark Magician Girl. Once again, still getting used to Invisalign, so bear with me, I sound slightly different, but I, you know, I'm doing what I can. Okay, inside we'll have King's Court, that's fun. Everybody likes that. Maximum Crisis, Flames Destruction, those are pretty normal for Mystery Boxes. Duelist Alliance, same thing. Brothers of Legend, that's cool to see. And yeah, it looks like it's just sleeves. So it doesn't seem that great so far, but maybe you can get like a legacy pack, but it doesn't even say that you could get one. So I doubt that you can. I guess people do like these like Mascarena sleeves, which are cool. And shout out to the reprint of IP Mascarena Starlight. I know some people are happy about it, but you guys know I'm not happy about it. All right, Chaos, Chaos uh, box. Let's do this. Um, I don't have my Mascarenos anymore, but uh, you know, I would be like, dang, if I did have those. Let's see, we have Chaos Box. I'm excited for new new mystery products. I always love opening these on the channel. Well, I'll always love to see like how good these are. And we're gonna kind of like rate these. I'll probably give like a one or out of five stars or maybe a one out of 10 or something like that at the end to see how good I think this is like value for a mystery box. Like I'm, I'm gonna compare it to other mystery boxes and stuff. So let's see, first off we have a, oh, Dimension of Chaos. So I guess we do kind of have some vintage pack so this is actually pretty nice uh yeah old pack 2015 i believe you can get ghost rares you can get ultimate rares that's good stuff in here let's see what we can pull three from the back i think on this one let's do a super every samurai dd necro slime we have fluff of wings super every samurai thief dd savant kepler we have cosmo wicked witch Perform a Palmyra, we have rank up magic raid force and a raid raptor skull eagle. So I think three from the back was right, but there was no foil in there. Okay, yeah, let's do it like this. So next pack is a dark saviors. Okay, so a lot of the similar packs from like, what was the last mystery box that we opened? They seem to have a lot of these as well. So it seems like they're kind of doing the same thing. I don't know, the secret could be at the front. So I'm gonna do that just in case. Mirror force, super rare, cool. Dark Greffer, good for those dad decks, Edison, stuff like that. We have quick booster. Yeah, wait, was that in Edison? I guess it was, but most people don't use it. Vampire Domination, oh wait, it was it was the last card. Okay, Vampire Domination Secret and Horn of the Phantom Beast. So, yeah, nothing too crazy there either. And you wanna keep in mind, like, the value, there's this first edition Blazing Vortex, Pot of Prosperity could happen. Probably get a 25th reprint for all we know. Yeah, the value really is on the sealed packs, not like the opening, because obviously you're not gonna be able to open $20 every time. That would be, like, absurd if you were able to do that. Is it four? Four, it might be three. This might be a rare. Okay, no, it's not. Dogmatica Genesis, Spring and Skull, we have Parametaphol's Fusion, the Fabled Treason. 
Tri Brigade Rendezvous, Win Witch, S4 Showdown, Fabled. We have a Virtual World Otohime. All right, super rare. So not a great start for the mystery box. I don't think we've made any money back yet. So uh, that's not awesome. Let's pull out our sleeves real quick. We do get the Miracle Fusion sleeves. I'm not gonna lie, these are pretty cool. These are pretty nice, especially for like an Edison deck. If you're, you know, run a little diva hero like I am. I know it's an outdated Edison deck. I get it. Also, did you guys hear about the Edison tournament that they're having at Nationals? So if you are going to Nationals, they have, are having an Edison Swiss tournament. So like not an eight person in event, like it's like as many people that sign up. So it could be a crazy big tournament for Edison. I don't know, maybe you want to run diva hero. Probably not, but could be cool with those sleeves. Okay, so that's probably our first value of the thing is the sleeves. Let's see what else. Oh, Duelist Alliance and Dimension of Chaos. That's really not bad i've never pulled anything really out of this except the one time we opened 100 packs i pulled okay out of it we didn't get a ghost or anything but i feel like this is the weird uh pack trick i think it's this just in case we get the ghost guy of the midnight sun we have shadal hedgehog that's a rough and special performer valley of hippo guy of the polar knight shadal squamata satellar nine alpha battle guard we have the mazar mazarta okay and uh, oh super rare samsara dragon of rebirth not guaranteed hey we got a super i'm happy with it that's better than we usually get out of duelist alliance one more pack out of this mystery box i think our value is not looking too good hopefully that samsara is worth a little bit we have a secret forces pack so another five card pack that has secret rares this one i still think could have the secret at the beginning so i'm just going to do that ritual beast bond we have Armageddon Knight, another nice, uh, you know, dark card. We've got this and Dark Greffer in this opening. Not bad. The Jin, we have a Ritual Beast Steeds and uh, Yosenju Masak. All right, Yosenjus, I don't think really have that much value at the moment. All right, on to box number two. Let's see if we can do a little better because our 40 bucks is going down the drain as we speak right now. I love opening these new products, but so far I'm not extremely impressed with this one, but it's also not like the worst. We're gonna have to see what the second, you know, iteration does. I'm guessing based on how this usually works, it's a very similar mystery box. A lot of the time when you buy from the same Walmart, you get like almost the exact same box, but let's see if they've changed that up. I hope they have, because it's not much of a mystery box, even though it doesn't even say mystery box, that's chaos box. So they didn't even claim for it to be a mystery box, but it essentially is. Okay, first let's do the sleeves. Okay, let's pull out the, I'm guessing Miracle Fusion, yep. Okay, we got another Miracle Fusion set of sleeves. Pretty cool sleeves though. I am a big fan of those, so I prefer those over the IP Masquerade ones anyway. Okay, next up we have, oh yeah, Blazing Vortex. My prediction has been correct so far. I'm guessing we see very similar cards. One, two, three, four, or we could get a different Starlight Rare. How about that? We didn't get a Starlight Rare last time. Let's get that pot. That's still a like $600 card, so that'd be big. We have the Fabled, a bunk. That's just a beaver. We have Fabled, we have Springens, Brenka, we have, Mattior Actor, Mattior Actor, Gigabros. Okay, I don't know that card. Um, it's probably a guaranteed. Yeah, it's a guaranteed super, so probably not worth too much. Okay, next pack we have a Dimension of Chaos. So uh, two for two on the same pack so far. Dimension of Chaos. We have pulled Ghost Rares out of here. I've never pulled an unlimited Ghost Rare out of here though, so that would be pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I need it for my binder or not. I might. Let's do three. Savant Galilei, Dark Contract. Gradle Alligator, we have the DDD Contract Change. Psychic Blade, Gradle Split, we have Urgent Ritual Art. That's a secret, I knew it was gonna be the weird pack trick. I just, I decided not to do it. Secret Rare Urgent Ritual Art. I had never heard of this card. I'm guessing it's not that crazy. I'm sure I pulled it back when we opened tons of this pack, but maybe it's a dollar. Maybe it can add back to our value, please. Please add some value, come on. All right, next up we have Dark Saviors. Uh, not first dead, I was hoping it was first dead, it's not. So we're three for three, same packs, same sleeve. Well, four for four if you include the same sleeves. It wasn't in the back, right? Okay, Monarch Storm 4 for those Monarch players. Uh, yeah, that's you, Andy, in 20, you know, 2022. Seal Strategist, we have Allure of Darkness. Vampire Vamp, we have the Sky Striker Maneuver Afterburner. Sky Striker has recently gotten buffed a little bit, so this maybe could be worth something. I don't remember the specific card being played a ton, but it's probably like a one of or something like that. Uh, what is it? Target one face-up monster on the field, destroy it. Then if you have three or more spells, you can destroy one spell trap. They probably played this in a one-off, right? I mean, it's destruction. It's like could destroy two different things. Maybe that's worth over a dollar. Could be adding back to our value. What if it's like 20 bucks? That'd be crazy. Okay, a couple packs left. Uh, let's go. Ooh, Duelist Alliance. Exact same order. Literally the exact same. So if you win this box, this third box that we have, probably this is what you're getting. One, two, three. Let's give it a little... Uh, little bit of that okay here we go we have let's we got a super last time let's get a ultra secret ulti or ghost let's do it change of night and day it's a teller night vega curse of the shadow prison very nice hippo carnival we have shishinol scramata still on an alpha we have monarch storm forth okay we got it in the original common print and then a super rare cool we have a uh graph metal branch of the burning abyss and uh 
guy of the polar knight so yeah we're not gonna get that lucky on duelist alliance final pack what was it last time it's like a five card pack. secret forces yep secret forces we've been it's been predicted okay guys predicted i think that this won't necessarily mean this is what you get in all of them it's just in my area they probably it was one from the back He'll send you a sock. Let's see if we can get any nice uh, super rares. But in my area, that's probably what they were in that in that Walmart. We have a Dijin. He'll send you training grounds. I don't think there's anything crazy. Manju used to be a great reprint, but it's had so many recently. But still a super rare, probably a good reprint of it. And then secret move. Okay. So overall, these are okay. Like they're 20 bucks. They're not that expensive. You do get guaranteed sleeves, which is usually like a five. I don't remember. We did, we popped up on the screen what these are, but I'm guessing they're like a five dollar value, something like that. So you really have to get 15 back. You get five packs for that. About three dollars a pack. And when you are getting like Duelist Alliance and Dimension of Chaos. That's pretty fun because you usually probably can't find those at $3 like unless you go online and it might be weighed. I mean, they could be weighed out here, but it's very unlikely that Mystery Box uh, sellers are weighing stuff. A lot of people think that they are. So I would say that these, if I'm going to go like out of 10 on a rating for this new Chaos Box, I'd say these are like a 6.5. They're pretty fun. You're not getting like anything absurd or anything. There's no like legacy packs. I mean, the Duels Alliance and Docs are from like 2014, 2015. So they are like eight, nine years old, which is really fun. But there's nothing like, you know, LB reprints or anything that's like $20 pack or anything like that. And then the guaranteed sleeves are pretty fun. So you at least get something, but they're not like the best things ever. I never will really probably put a mystery pack at 10 out of 10 because, you know, it's really hard to do a perfect mystery pack. But I think these are pretty good. They're probably worth buying one of if you want to open some older packs. And then King's Court, which apparently can be in here as well. So there's a lot of other fun things that we didn't pull the ones i got say like 6.5 out of 10 let me know what you think about the rating down below if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this shout out to home flow show daxer jt cho puffins of doom ernesto dienda micycle america doyster supreme sage 21 and under show ian musa junior barding and mimic echo thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace